Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through a little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Could you keep it down, please? It, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help! Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening! That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not is the only me? one feels pressure! The factory situation is serious, Anne! Real serious! Not right now! <sighs> not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic, legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? 
There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy! <laughs> oh! Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart! I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. You should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her, if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. It's 
son of a bitch clock. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Right about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Megan! Are you in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! Everybody! Anthony! Help! Help! Anthony! Hey! Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic! Get to the balcony! Anthony, help!
gotta get Megan out! Megan! Welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. 
what's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. You see, you will be determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, you'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. As in life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Uh. 
Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help, if you can manage that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Ah! <laughs> Where's my phone? Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. The bus driver might come back. We should wait for him. The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. I can't believe the driver taking off like that and ditching us? Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off.
You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. All I need to know is how to get out of this place. Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's real peachy coming from you. Maybe Daniel deserves better. You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? <laughs> you take yourself far too seriously. Lord knows why. <coughs> Go ahead and choke. I'm just making casual observations here. Nothing wrong with that. Apart from it being real creepy, so stop. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere. Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone, then? Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walked straight out every time! It's like... I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something! Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming.
I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay, do do? calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up! Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now! I need to think straight! Right now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Hey, are you coming? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. <laughs> Are you for real? Thanks for backing. Yeah, Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? What's up? Lighten up. You know I was only messing with you. You didn't sound like you were messing just now. Come on, will you? That long, long face doesn't suit you. Your attitude towards us sucks. I don't know what to say to that. Maybe she is right about you. Let's just forget it. Or maybe you like older women more. You seem to fawn over everything she says. I'm really trying hard to like you, but you're not making it easy. If you want me to take you seriously, then your shit needs to hold together a lot more than it has up till now. Concussion can scramble your memory. He'll more likely come back to you. You okay? I'm absolutely fine.
Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Let's take a look around. Maybe find a phone or something, yeah? What's bugging you? All I'm asking is we take a look. I can't do this. You need to make your mind up. Make my mind up about what? Me. I'm not running around after you like some lapdog. Sorry, I know I can sound tough sometimes, but what happened back there really got to me. It freaked me out too. I just wish I was better at knowing what's going on with you. Come on, you already know. Hey, take a look at this. How about a game? Let's throw a few. May take our minds off the fog. Really? It seems pretty lame to me. You scared I'll whoop your ass? What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. I don't know if it feels at all like a... Warm up with an easier shot. Go for... Single 20. Beginner's luck. Try for double seven. Yeah, maybe there's still one working in town. <gasps> At least my eyesight seems okay. Great shooting. Go for the bullseye with your last dart. <laughs> you throw a mean dart, even when you're not in a game. Kind of weird, right? Stuck her with these guys because of that fog. How do you feel about all this shit? I don't really know. We're not having a great night, that's for sure. But I guess it could have been worse. No names, but some around here could do with being taken down a notch or two. What's on your mind? They think I'm an idiot. No one believed me about the fog, then, hey, presto, they get lost too, and it's like, oh, maybe Taylor was right after all. Maybe try to understand it's not just you. Nobody's feeling that great right now. I thought you were with me on this. Let's go and check in with the others. <sighs> He's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. She's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Natural talent. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how oh, man. I could use a shot of that right about now. I really gotta cut down on the booze. <sighs> We all drink too much from time to time. Okay. You should leave now. What? Can I get some peace around here? No. Is the phone working? Phone sure seems like it's broken. I already told you it was dead. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we. Are you okay? They don't play darts in the Olympics. Yeah. Are you okay? Nothing's okay. I can't escape. One hell of a escape shot. what? <laughs> The fog? You did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Mine's dead. This place is a bust. There's nothing for us here. For once I agree, 
Sooner we're gone from this dreadful place, the better. parchment from the 70s. I could care less about ancient history. Shit. Would really like to leave this place now. Let's continue on into town. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top-up? What does that mean? What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. That fog has affected more than your sense of direction. 
Your imagination's also out of control. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Can you two make an effort to keep up? <laughs> Angela? Andrew? Where are you? We're here! I can't see you! Andrew, can you come over? What is it? I just saw someone out in the woods. Really? Well, maybe it was the bus driver. What I saw out there was a child. What would a kid be doing out here in the middle of the night? certain of what I saw. If there was anyone out there, they've gone now. All I see is trees. You two, we need to stick close. Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Wait for us! What is that? Come and take a look at this. What is it? Sure. Let me take a closer look. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Who are you? <laughs> Pray, tell me your name, lady. What's going on here? Why are you trying to scare us? Not my intention to scare. All I seek is some play. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see how you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come back here. There's someone else out here, by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. We saw something. Or maybe we thought we saw something. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, Spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps... He represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be... regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I know it's been unsettling, but we're gonna get out of this. Unsettling my ass? Unsettling is way back over the border somewhere. What went down back there? Not sure, but whatever it was scared the crap 